A cloud chaser didn't happen overnight. Um, it might seem like it, uh, it, well, it was installed in a year, but the, the idea of cloud chaser or the fact that we have it today certainly didn't start in April. My predecessor, Dave Rathman, when he arrived here in 2008, went through a process of putting together our current master development plan and getting that approved through the Forest Service and became apparent that what we need is another lift on the east side of the mountain to expand that terrain. We went through the environmental impact analysis and got that approved and actually in sort of record time, it was a great cooperative effort between our bachelor and the Forest Service and various interest groups. And so it started with getting the master development plan approved and then find the capital to, to get the project done. And then uh, shortly after that, we cut the lift line. Today is uh, May 27th. 2016, We've got three days left in the ski season and we are at the top of what is going to be the cloud chaser lift. We're getting ready to do some surveying and we need to have good sight lines so we're getting this all cleaned up. Uh, it takes a lot of very tough, very experienced, very committed men uh, to get a lift constructed as well as a good company like Doppelmayr to get the components manufactured and delivered. I love it all. I really do. I love it. I love taking a picture or a selfie at the beginning, and it's nothing. Like from the bottom or the top, depending where you get the best picture. And then at the end, when it's turning around, it's, uh, it's pretty fulfilling. Like if you work on massive construction projects, like a bridge, or let's say you're building the Brooklyn Bridge, you could be the, the brick guy or the concrete guy or the bolt painting guy. You would never be everything we do everything. It only takes six of us and so we do it start to finish. Which is really really cool. Like we, we dig the hole sometimes by hand or with machines and we do the survey and we build the farms, we tie the rebar, we pour the concrete, we strip the farms, we backfill the dirt, we assemble the towers, we fly them in. We don't fly the helicopter and we don't tie the knot. It is what August 9th? And today we have the first concrete being poured in the top terminal foundation. Super excited to see the trucks get up here. It's a long, steep, curvy service road. The truck drivers are doing an amazing job getting these monster front dumper trucks up here to the top. It's not every day you get to, to uh, witness the beginning of a new lift. And uh, you know, we, last time we did this was 20 years ago and excited for, excited for cloud chasing. It's kind of odd to start a major project so late, but we had 25 feet of snow in spots all the way down the lift line. The road was still snow covered the first week of July, so we couldn't actually drive to the top until the second, second week or third week. We had to dig the road open with snow. Bachelor gets an impressive amount of snow, that's for sure. The road is pretty challenging, and it, it often is when it's a new chairlift in a new area, and this is a whole new area. So it's opening up 655 acres, I believe. It's kind of steep in places, so the, we're having to tug and pull equipment, but we got a lot of it up today. We're expecting 75 mile an hour winds the day after tomorrow, and lots and lots of rain. It's all right for Scottish guys, but it's not all right for boom trucks to get up and down mountain. It's been a challenge, so we were working at the bottom and we normally go to one terminal and complete it and then move, but we have moved up and down and up and down like a yo-yo just to try and facilitate continuing working. Another day in paradise, yeah. yeah. The mountain's kicking my ass. <laughs> Jeez, and I'm Scottish for God's sake. What, well, mate? We're flying towers today. If the, if the weather clears here, we're waiting for the final decision and, um, and then we'll be flying towers. Hopefully we get it all done in one day. Towers are in. You think about all that work the crew did, getting the footings in, digging, started back in July, and then literally in six hours all this goes up. It's just amazing, and it goes up so well. If you think about the engineering and, and how they combine the engineering with making it so that it's actually possible to fly them in and install them, it's, it's really a pretty neat thing.
today. We're putting the uh, haul rope on. Just over two miles of rope. And uh, starting here at the bottom. This big barrel's going to start rolling here soon. So After this, Bennett's chairs, and we've got something that looks like a actual skewer. I mean, not that this doesn't. Just one more milestone. Coming to you live from Mount Bachelor, Oregon. We're splicing the cable, tying the big knot, putting the ends away. Well, I'm not here. Last step of the process. Load testing cloud chaser today. 50,000 and some pounds. Simulating, you know, the weight of a, a human load, I suppose, in, in sandbag form today. Tomorrow's opening day, cloud chaser. And it's ready to rip. Five meters per second, a thousand feet a minute. Listen to that. Let's cut the river, everyone! And here we are. It's funny, it seems like it's been a long year, but now when I think about it, it seems to have gone incredibly quickly too. Like, it's weird. And today is, is like a, is a dream. There's a saying I learned from Paul Johnston at Highlander. Whenever anybody asks, how long does it take to put a lift in, the answer is, well, how long have you got? because that's how long it's going to take. And it took right up to the day that we had hoped to open the lift, but we, we got it open on the exact day that we wanted to open it. So there you go, that was the first one on the Cloud Chaser, the first ride up on the chairlift. It was an amazing ride, kind of a little emotional actually. This is just amazing. So excited for all the new terrain and the crowd that turned up was incredible. And yeah, it's just super grateful for today and this opportunity. I can't wait.